Today we're going to introduce the average movement articulator and this articulator is capable of lateral movement. These articulators are full size and capable of accepting a faceball registration but all of this type of articulator have fixed arbitrary set condylar inclination settings. Also vertical axis of rotational settings and Bennett angle. So no adjustment of these posterior elements is available on this type of articulator, although some have a provision for incisal guidance. This type of articulator provides for some balance in the articulation of artificial teeth when manufacturing complete dentures. The average movement articulator comprises an occlusal table against which the upper model is secured. Prior to setting the models, we score their bases to aid relocation if at any time the models separate from the articulating plaster. To set the average movement articulator, we ensure that the incisal guidance pin is set at the zero setting and locked off securely. We also need to ensure that the condyle head movements are locked into position so that there is no lateral movement. Securing articulating metal plates to the upper arm, we locate the occlusal articulating table to the lower arm. With the table in place and the incisal guidance pin free, we position the upper occlusal table against the articulating plate. In this case, we're working with a full, complete upper denture. Positioning the centre line with the incisal pin, we ensure that both buckle sides of the denture are evenly placed on the occlusal table. We use a small amount of wax to fix the model to the table and take care to ensure that there's sufficient space above the model to allow space for the plaster. To continue the articulation of the upper cast on the average movement articulator, we soak the cast and prepare a very smooth mixture of plaster of Paris. We place some of the plaster onto the upper model. A sufficient quantity has to be added so that when the upper arm is lowered, excess plaster will be pushed out to the sides. This excess plaster will be used to smooth the side walls of the model, tapering it towards the metal mounting plate. When the plaster is sufficiently set, we can trim off any excess using a plaster knife and smooth it as required. If the plaster is too hard by this point, we can use wet and dry paper to leave the plaster with a smooth finish. To fix the lower model to the upper, we return to the workbench where we begin by removing the articulating plate and scoring the lower model. Then we piece together any silicon occlusal paste that needs to be refixed and piece all the pieces together so that the lower is occluded to the upper wax rim. We use small amounts of sticky wax to hold the elements in place. To articulate the lower model, it first needs to be moistened. 
In this instance, we turn the articulator upside down, applying some of the plaster to the base of the lower model. We also apply some plaster to the articulating plate. We need to build up sufficient plaster so that when the lower arm is moved towards the lower model, the excess will be pushed out. Once the plaster has set sufficiently, we can lift up the whole articulator and trim off any excess with a plaster knife. It should be shaped level with the side walls of the lower model and tapered down towards the articulating plate.